An Action News Jax investigation gets results. Only Sky Action News Jax can show you these aerials of FDOT removing a massive sign on JTB that was knocked down by Hurricane Matthew. State highway crews went to work after Action News Jax pressed them on the potential dangers of that damaged sign. Action News Jax Ben Becker is live along JTB near Gay Parkway. And Ben, you were there the night that sign blew away. We remember it well. That's right, it certainly was, John, and all that's left is now this big, tall steel beam, and one of these, or a few of these, uh, these nuts are still around on the ground here where another beam once stood. That was destroyed and down this embankment along with a massive sign that was once here for about six weeks until it was finally removed today after I pressed FDOT for answers. Oh, there goes the sign. One of the memorable images of Hurricane Matthew was this massive sign that blew away on JTB. It happened during one of my live reports. The storm was a beast. It must have put some really good damage to it to be able to knock it down that bad. Dorothy Walker-Smith drives in this area on a regular basis. Since the storm, the potentially dangerous road hazard, including a steel beam, just sat on an embankment as thousands of drivers like Smith Walker went by every day. Now, as you can see from Sky Action News Jax, it was finally removed today. That's incredible. Why did it take so long to pick it up and get it out? I mean, that's kind of safety concern, right, with it still being on the side of the road? I took her concern, Steph Dot's Ron Tittle. Until you called, I had not known about the sign. Tittle tells me the state contracts out highway work like debris removal. I pressed Tittle on why no one removed the sign and steel beam until today, nearly six weeks after the storm. Well, it's just like any if you hit the guardrails, any of the obstacles that are along the roadways, you know, we try to remove on a regular basis. But guardrails are designed to protect you and keep you safe. The only thing I can say is that our folks assessed it and they were trying to get out there to move it as soon as they can. As for Walker Smith, she's glad the sign and steel is gone. I wish it was sooner, but it's good that it's gone now. FDOT tells me they're not sure how long it will take to replace this sign. Reporting live on the south side, Ben Becker, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.